Over a hundred million years ago, a relatively small predator inhabited the floodplains of prehistoric North America. This dinosaur in particular had a revolutionary effect on the field of paleontology. Although many are familiar with Deinonychus, few truly grasp the astonishing nature of this creature. Its remains were initially discovered in the early 1930s, but it wasn't until 1969 when paleontologist John Ostrom officially named it. Deinonychus, meaning terrible claw, as in homage to the elongated talon on its foot. The discovery of Deinonychus not only highlighted its unique claw but also shifted perceptions of dinosaurs altogether. Previously, many considered dinosaurs to be sluggish, dim-witted creatures. However, the agile, intelligent, and active Deinonychus helped people see dinosaurs in a new light. Even today, with numerous new dinosaur discoveries, Deinonychus remains a head-turner for its exceptional attributes. Deinonychus belonged to the theropod family known as Dromaeosauridae, which includes other famous members such as the closely related Velociraptor. As a Dromaeosaur, Deinonychus was medium-sized, either the largest nor the smallest, with fully mature specimens measuring 3.4 meters 11 feet 2 inches in length and a hip height of 0.87 meters 2.9 feet though there is a general consensus on these measurements, the weight estimates vary. Some believe it was lightly built, weighing around 73 kilograms 161 pounds while others suggest a more robust build of up to 100 kilograms 220 pounds regardless. Deinonychus was elegantly constructed with relatively hollow bones, allowing for agility and speed. However, early assumptions about its lightning-fast speed were likely exaggerated. These estimations were made before the discovery of a complete leg bone, which revealed that Deinonychus was probably not much faster than other dinosaurs in its environment, and certainly slower than modern-day flightless birds. Yet, this doesn't mean its legs were ineffective, they were still agile and equipped with the creature's most iconic feature, the terrible, sickle-shaped talon found on the second digit of its foot, which could reach 5 inches 13 centimeters in length. Interestingly, the talon's size also played a part in Deinonychus's not-so-remarkable speed. Despite extensive research, the talon's purpose remains a topic of debate. Most agree it was used for hunting, but the method is contested. The shape and curvature of the talon varies between specimens, making it difficult to determine its exact function. Early theories suggested that Deinonychus would attack and kill by kicking its prey, inflicting deep cuts with its elongated foot claw, and some even proposed it could disembowel ceratopsians. This idea has been mostly debunked, and new hypotheses have emerged over the years. One increasingly popular theory suggests that, rather than slashing, the talon would puncture prey, leading to death. However, some paleontologists disagreed, as simulations involving a pig carcass and a robotic talon showed that it could not cut, slash, or puncture to any meaningful degree. This led to speculation that the talon was actually used for climbing trees, as Deinonychus also had forelimb claws seemingly well suited for gripping. In 2011, a study introduced yet another potential use for the talon, pinning. In this scenario, Deinonychus would use its agility to mount its prey, pinning it down with its talon while simultaneously grasping the animal with its large, three clawed hands. Some paleontologists believe that the presence of feathers supports this pinning hypothesis. Although no direct skin impressions have been found, it is widely accepted that Deinonychus had feathers, with those on its arms likely being quite long and possibly used as stabilizers during a struggle. The dinosaur's skeleton also featured a relatively long and flexible tail, which many believe served as yet another stabilization tool while hunting. Once the prey was pinned down, Deinonychus would dispatch it by delivering lethal bites with its mouth. Initially, it was believed that Deinonychus's bite was weak and that it used its jaws like a saw to compensate for the lack of power. However, this idea changed when paleontologists discovered dinosaur bones with Deinonychus tooth marks indicating that it could bite hard enough to puncture bone. Newer estimates suggest its bite force was greater than that of a hyena. Additionally, Deinonychus had excellent vision, with studies on its skull indicating a high level of binocular vision that would allow it to easily spot potential prey, even in dense underbrush. 
There is also a theory that Deinonychus was a pack hunter. This idea stems from multiple findings of Deinonychus remains near those of Tenontosaurus, a genus of ornithopods that, as adults, would have been too large for a single Deinonychus to take down. One such discovery consisted of an adult Tenontosaurus alongside five Deinonychus, while another site contained six partial Tenontosaurus remains and one Deinonychus, along with numerous Deinonychus teeth in the vicinity. These findings led to the belief that Deinonychus may have been a pack hunter, with trackways of footprints indicating groups moving together in a coordinated fashion. However, others argue that Deinonychus was not a true pack hunter likening its feeding behavior to that of the Komodo dragon. Although Komodo dragons are primarily solitary hunters, they will gather around freshly killed animals and engage in chaotic feeding frenzies, sometimes resulting in injury to themselves. This is relevant because some Deinonychus found near Tenontosaurus remains were missing body parts consistent with those typically bitten off during Komodo dragon feasts, suggesting that Deinonychus may have engaged in similar feeding frenzies rather than organized hunts. If Deinonychus did not hunt in packs, it raises the question of how so many adult Tenontosaurus perished. Some suggest that the largest predator in the area, Acrocanthosaurus, was responsible, or that the Tenontosaurus died from other causes. It's possible that Deinonychus was simply scavenging, although paleontologists are confident that at least some of the time, they were responsible for the kills, as no other obvious damage has been found on the Tenontosaurus remains. Deinonychus inhabited a part of North America that, between 115 and 108 million years ago, was home to a diverse range of dinosaurs, including Sauropelta, Zephyrosaurus, and Sauroposeidon. Deinonychus's remains have been found in Montana, Utah, Wyoming, Oklahoma, and potentially Maryland. During the early Cretaceous, these lands consisted of floodplains, swamp-like habitats, subtropical forests, deltas, and lagoons, where Deinonychus roamed for millions of years, stalking its prey. For Deinonychus but spelled trouble for other inhabitants of the area, as it meant a wider range of animals needed to be cautious of these deadly predators. The adaptability of Deinonychus and its hunting strategies likely contributed to its success as a species. Interestingly, as Deinonychus grew, its ecological niche and morphology changed. When younger, it was more agile and bird-like, allowing it to occupy a different niche in the ecosystem. As it matured, it gained mass and became denser, making it a more formidable predator. By preying on a diverse range of animals and using its agility, powerful bite, and potentially cooperative hunting behaviors, Deinonychus was able to thrive in its environment. In summary, Deinonychus was an exceptional dinosaur that played a crucial role in changing the perception of dinosaurs as a whole. Its unique features, such as the sickle-shaped talon, feathers, and powerful bite, have intrigued paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts for decades. Despite ongoing debates about its hunting strategies and pack behavior, there is no doubt that Deinonychus was an agile, intelligent, and efficient predator that left a lasting impact on the world of paleontology.